That's right, everybody. We're going to do it live. F it. We're going to do it live. Yeah. I quote. Anyways, to bring a little bit of light on what's going on down there in Georgia. And I'll get better lighting over here. Here we go. All right. So, fixing to go to work. We're headed there now. In Georgia, what they found was the harvesters had, um, I think there was like a total of 242. One had came forward. I talked a little bit about this in another video, but this here is a little more in depth. They were paid $10 a paper. And the one person that came forward, supposedly, you know, I think they ended up, you know, we won't speculate how he came forward, but I'm pretty sure it was coerced through like somewhat. Anyways, they are probably like, hey, we know what you're doing. Tell us what you know. And that dude came forward and said that he was paid $10 a paper. Uh, he made a total of about $45,000 between November and the beginning or the, you know, the, the, I guess, you know, the, from the time he started, which was just several, you know, weeks, he only worked for a couple of weeks and made $45,000. That means that there was 241 more people on an average payout of, of around $45,000 at $10 a paper. Okay. This is true. This happened. Uh, so. I'm sure that we're going to find out a lot more. Any form of people paper harvesting is illegal, whether it's one or thousands. And if you could, you imagine ten dollars a paper and getting a payout of forty-five thousand dollars as to how many papers were inserted into the 2020 people picker process. Okay. Anyways, more to come. Lots of love.